I left my country where I was born then. In 1953 to New Orleans, I became a merchant seaman. I was 20 years of age. As a merchant seaman, I became an engineer five years later. I'm a steam engineer. Don't ask me how I did that because that's gonna baffle you because I've never been to school and I don't read books. I don't read books now, nobody's book. I'm not even gonna read my own. Because all the book readers come to me, asking me, how did you cure AIDS? But that's, that's like asking the gorilla, hey man, how come you keep yourself healthy without a hospital? How come you don't have any medicines? We begin. I became a merchant seaman, right quick, to take you through my life. Left Honduras without going to school, became a merchant seaman, became an engineer, worked for the Count of Los Angeles as an engineer. While as an engineer, the Count of Los Angeles, something is to happen. Something is to change my life completely. First, it was a Mexican. The Mexican said to me, you're dying. I said, I know. How do you know? Because I fell out going to the bathroom on Sunday afternoon and I didn't reach the bathroom, I got up off the floor. Something must have happened between there and the bathroom. But I had gone to the neurologist, the endocrinologist, the GER practitioner in Russia, in England, in Germany, in France, United States, and there were people that knows what it is about. They had the great big books on medical science, but my asthma and my diabetes, my impotence was kicking. What happened to the books? They read books. All the physicians that treated this boy read books of all kinds. Nothing happened. I goes to Mexico, and the Mexican have a goat in his house. Every five words, it was bad. <laughs> bad. And I'm looking around. The Mexican said, the goat bothering you? I said, no. <laughs> You're dying because you are disobedient. Then he brought the Holy Bible. Honor thy mother and thy father that thy days may be long upon the land. That's in the Bible, isn't it? But how could we honor our mother and our fathers? when we don't even know what they were about. You don't tell that to an elephant to honor his mother because when he's born, he follows his mother and watch what his mother eats. Do you and I know what our mothers ate in Africa? We don't know, yet we dialogue. We dialogue on this level of intelligence because I know Plato, I know Aristotle. I know all about Diogenes. But you don't know what your mama ate. <laughs> so everything that you talk about means absolutely nothing. So you see, you see where they have us at a deficit? That's why we need each other. Now I became an engineer. The Mexican said, stop eating. Don't eat anything for how long? Three months. I said, are you crazy? He said, no, you nuts. <laughs> You ask me if I'm crazy. You've been eating garbage for 30 years. You've been eating garbage. And I'm going to remove the garbage for 90 days and you ask me if I'm crazy. <laughs> what was I eating? Hog maws, chitlin' neck bones, crackling bread, lawn in New Orleans. Eggs, because the grown-ups told me when my penis wasn't getting hard, eat eggs. Drink raw eggs. And I did. By the dozens. <laughs> and nothing happened. The Mexicans said, don't worry about it. Don't eat. 90 days later, I was no longer impotent, no longer diabetic, no longer asthmatic, no longer with glasses on my eyes. And this stomach hair was 42. <laughs> 